Now back to this Saturday lunchtime where Bob Holness tests more teenagers on their general knowledge with the quiz Blockbusters. And now, here's the host of Blockbusters, Bob Holness. Thank you. Hello. Thank you very much. Welcome. Welcome to Blockbusters. Welcome once again. Thank you for that. I have a feeling of deja vu every time I say this because we seem to have said it quite a lot lately. We start this particular show by meeting a new contestant and he's coming in to a rather unusual situation. Well, it's not unusual anymore because we've said it so often. He's going to do his first gold run if he gets there. And the girls who are in there, our champions, are going to do their third. So it's the two extremes on Blockbusters. First of all, then, welcome, if you will, Mark Whitworth. <laughs> Hello. That. What a welcome, Mark. <laughs> I don't think you'll ever get over that. What Whitworth from Sir John Dean's College in Northwich. Right, That's right yeah. Right, fine. Welcome to the programme. Next yeah. to you, as you know already, are Jane and Lenora waiting desperately to shake you by the hand. So you might just as well get a welcome from them for the show. All right. Now we start scratch. We start right at the first game, you know. I mean, there's nothing to lose as far as you're concerned. There's uh, a lot to lose as far as they're concerned. But here we go. He is heading for his first. They are heading for their third. But a long way to go because the board is flashing. We're into the first game right now. It's a C, so let's play Blockbuster. <laughs> Right, what C is the name of the diminutive brash waitress in the Cheers bar? Yes, Lenora. Carla. It's Carla, you're right. Well done. <laughs> and a bit of incidental information. Did you know that Rhea Perlman, who plays Carla, is married to Danny DeVita? There you are. You did? Thank you. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> On we go, then. What do you want next? S, please. S. What S was the communist leader whose Russian name... Yes, Jane. Stalin. It means man of steel. Stalin is right. <laughs> Two blues so far. Mark hasn't made a move yet. He's saving himself a little. Okay. Right, go. A, please. Right, the A. Making a little pattern in the middle, if you can. What A, everybody, is a state of the USA and the only one... <coughs> yes, Jane? Arizona? No, it's not. So you get it all to yourself, Mark. What A is the only, is the state of the USA and the only one not to start and end with the letter A? Have you guessed, Jane? No, no you haven't. It's Arkansas. No. Arkansas. Oh, it looks like Arkansas. The others are Alabama, Arizona and Alaska. I thought it was interesting. What a pity they didn't get it. <laughs> what A is the book in which you'll find Lambert, Bonn, Molvida and Mercator projection. Yes, Mark. Atlas. Atlas, you're right. Good start. <laughs> right, that's a nice little sandwich in the middle. Now you're going to go a white somewhere else. F, please. Right at the bottom in the middle. What F is the sort of person who would play with worry beads to keep the fingers occupied? Yes, Lenora. A fretter. Fretter. Mm, no, not really. It goes across to Mark. What F is the sort of person who would play with worry beads to keep the fingers occupied? Fidgeter. Fidget? The fidgeter. Mm. Yes, yeah, right. Fidget, fidgety, fidgeter. That's right. Good. That's a white one. <laughs> and it gives two of each colour, and you the choice. L, please. L. What L was the means of vertical transportation invented by Elisha Otis in uh, Lenora? Lift. Yes, the lift, of course. <laughs> right. Three blues, two whites. What next? R, please, Bob. R. What R is the journey back? You... Yes, Mark. Return. Easy, isn't it? Return is right. It's a white. 
Mark spreading himself around a bit. What next? <laughs> I'll go for the J, please, Bob. J. Of what J did Victoria have two? One in 1887 and one in 18... Yes, James. Jubilees. Jubilees, correct. That's a good one. <laughs> Golden Jubilee, 50 years. Diamond Jubilee, 60 years. Right. Now, where else? Oh, a little consultation here. Yeah? G, please. Mm hmm Now, what G was the role played by Deborah Carr in The King and I and Julie Andrews in The Sound of Music? Yes, Mark? Ah. Oh. Completely gone, sorry. Right, Jane and Lenora, what G was the role played by Deborah Carr in The King and I and Julie Andrews in The Sound of Music? They were both governesses. Governess was the answer. What G is the city after which the convention governing the treatment of the... Yes, Mark? Geneva. That's it. Well interrupted. Geneva it is. Right. Well, we're filling up with colours. They're not doing an awful lot of good at the moment, but they could do. What now? Have an N, please. Mm -hmm. Creeping down the right-hand side. Girls, stand by. What N is the surname of the Swedish scientist? <laughs> yes, Mark. Nobel. Yes, it is Nobel. Well done. <laughs> some good anticipation. He's taking some chances, but they're coming off. Now we have a, a flashing white light, and they know what that means. Well, I'll speak the W, Mark. please. You'll have to. Yeah, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> Right, get on, Bob. What W goes before Yorkshire, Sussex? Yes, Mark. West? Yes, Mark, it is. West. <laughs> West Yorkshire, West Sussex, West Midlands for the name of three English counties. Didn't need that at all. He's won the first game in roaring fashion. The girls got in there too. They've now got £200 each because they picked up money on the first one. They've got a superb trip on the second, and they're hoping to go for their third. Well, to do that, they've actually got to win the next two games straight off. Whether they do or not, we'll see in a couple of minutes. We know nothing about Mark. We've just met him. Wants to be, perhaps, an interpreter? That's right, yes. I see? study three languages, yeah. Uh, do you speak them already, or are you learning now? Well, I'm doing A-levels in French and German. What else? Italian. Wow. That's quite a thing to take on, isn't it? Mm. Which are you finding the easiest? Oh, French. Really? Well, I'm not as good at German as I am at French. Aren't you? But, uh, yeah, but jolly useful though when you're on holiday, isn't I, it? I don't go on holiday that much. And, when you, <laughs> and when you join the diplomatic corps too. Hopefully, yeah. Terrific. Good. Okay, uh, incidentally, what I didn't do at the top, in case you weren't watching last time round, I didn't tell you the school that Jane and Lenora come from. It's Jane McCauley and Lenora McCoy from the high school Newry in Northern Ireland. Right, thought I'd clear that up. They'd never forgive me back at the school. We're going into the second game. G is on the board. As I said, it's the game the girls must win to draw level. Here we go. What G is the surname of the person who won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1990? Yes, Jane? Gorbachev. Yes, it's right. Mikhail Duke Gorbachev. <laughs> so, a blue firmly fixed on the board and the board to choose from for Jane. N, please. N. What N is the meaning of the Russian word Isvestia, the title of the Soviet government paper? Yes, Jane. News? Yes, good guess. News it is. Well done. Two blues, and a chance for a third. Have to be a P, please. Have to be a P, yes. What people were the common people of ancient Rome? Yes, Mark. Populous. No, not in this particular sense. Jane and Lenora, what P were the common people of ancient Rome? The name has been handed down over the generations and years and centuries. Plebeians. Plebeians, they were known as. What P is the line on the London Underground with a loop? Yes, Jane? Tally. No, Mark. Oh, ho, ho. What P is the line on the London Underground with a loop serving Heathrow Airport? Piccadilly. Piccadilly is correct. <laughs> All right. Okay, now, what do you want next? M, please. M down at the bottom right. What M is the regular shedding of skin by reptiles? Yes, Mark? Molting. Yes, it is. Molting! <laughs> it's one of the many senses of the word molting, exactly. And it means two of each colour. Now, D, please. D, to try and get more of a splurge on the right. What D is an English county with large coal reserves 
and the Peak District. Mark. Derbyshire. Yes, it is. Derbyshire. <laughs> Suddenly, our champions, who got through the first two gold runs, look a bit in danger unless they move very fast. They know that. So, quick fingers on the buttons as Mark goes for this one. Which one, Mark? E, please. The E. Doing a little squiggle. What E is one of two not included in Holst's Planet Suite? Yes, Mark? Earth? That's the one, and that is your buster. <laughs> very quickly answered, a very good answer indeed, but very sad for Jane and Lenora. Incidentally, the other one, in case you wanted to know, was Pluto. It wasn't discovered until 1930. Right, well, we've got to say goodbye to you, haven't we? Isn't this disappointing? Yeah, you were looking forward to that third, I know. But there's all sorts of things on the plus side. One of them is the fact that you're leaving us now to go off home and to say to everybody, we won £210 each on Blockbusters. And you can wear your Blockbuster zip jacket when you do it and show them the Blockbuster dictionary with everybody's signatures. Thank you, girls, very much. It's been a joy seeing you on the programme. Give them a round of applause. Now, there's, al there's always um, an excitement when somebody wins a, a game like that, but then the realisation dawns that they've now got to go and do a gold run. <laughs> right? OK, Mark, we're going to give you a couple of minutes to think about it, right? We take a short break. He's just flopped back in his chair in relief. I hope you've done the same. We'll see you in a couple of minutes' time. Be there.